Yeah, tonight city leaders say there are efforts in place to try and stop illegal street racing here in downtown St. Louis. I want to show you Eads Bridge is still closed. This closure just happened yesterday. There's also barricades up downtown and authorities say there's a bigger police presence as well. Now, just in about the last 30 minutes, we saw a car who appeared to be speeding drift onto Washington Ave and then slow down just before these barricades. St. Louis city leaders are taking action to stop illegal street racing in downtown. This comes after 17 year old Sierra Ward of DeSoto was killed early Monday morning when a speeding driver ran a red light and hit a truck with her in the back. Video shows rapid gunfire and wrong way driving on Broadway. To try and stop illegal street racing, St. Louis City Mayor Lida Cruson closed the Eads Bridge and had barricades put up in downtown streets to restrict lanes. Some residents say they're glad the barriers are up, but it makes it inconvenient. It was just kind of frustrating because I intended to park right over there, but I had to make several loops around because of the reduction in the parking because of all of the barricades. And others say they are done seeing the racing. As soon as you get in that car and you want a street race, all you're thinking about is the adrenaline. Like, yes, I'm going to go fast. But you don't think about everybody else around you, and that's what's most important. Everybody else. It's not just you in this world. There are people that have lives. And once you kill a life, you can't take that back. Meanwhile, Troy Adams, who owns downtown pedal taxis, says there's been too many close calls with street racers and his bike taxis. I actually sent out an email to my uh, company the other day, all of our employees letting them know that, you know, they had put up concrete barriers, which I hated to see. But then at the same time, too, it made us safer because the cars have to go condensed down to one lane and they can't get up to 100 miles an hour. He says he's already seen a difference. It's definitely slowed it down tremendously. Like, they just can't get up to the high speeds they could get up to prior. I mean, they're still... They're still going, they're still, you know, dragging, but they have to end very quickly. I, I'd much rather just see that the police were enforcing it to shut it down. And as of right now, it's not clear how long these barricades and closures will be in effect. But of course, we will let you know as soon as anything changes. Live in downtown St. Louis, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News.